Welcome to Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Amber here with another farming guide. This one is for carbon ingots. It starts here at Ragnarsson Lookout and I've used my raven to mark two patrols that spawn in the area southwest of Alster Monastery. So this is a great early game farm once you make it from Norway to England because it starts so close to Ravensdorp and there are no high level enemies in the area. So this one is easier than the farming runs in my previous videos, but do check out my other guides. I'll link my Assassin's Creed Valhalla playlist in the description. I have farming tips for ingots, tun tungsten, nickel, carbon to upgrade your gear, XP to level up, fish to sell for silver, and more coming soon. So subscribe to get the latest. Oh, if you're curious what mount and raven skin I'm using, that's from the gothic pack. I also have a video on the gothic armor, which was released last week. So in order to get to these patrols, you'll have to cross this river. And if you want your mount to be able to swim like that, you need to train your mount at the stable. That's Alster Monastery right up ahead, so we're going to go around it and try not to aggravate the guards. If they see me, this will get messy. But you can go right through it if you want. If you just keep riding the enemies, you usually won't be able to hit you. So I think that's why there's usually two patrols carrying carbon yeah. in this area because of this monastery nearby. And also there's the off church yeah. camp. So there's a couple camps in this area and there's two patrols that are generally carrying carbon between them. And if you can't find the patrols, a tip is to meditate so it's night. It's often easier to spot them with your raven when it's dark out because it's easier to see the gold stars indicating the wealth. Another tip is to fast travel outside of the zone to a different region and then save and reload your game, and then come back again. But it does sometimes take a little while to find the patrols, but they're definitely here. And here is the first one. And I'm going to use the blinding rush ability to stop time, get near the guard, and steal the ingot. Just like that, and there's my carbon ingot. But if you don't have the blinding rush ability, don't worry. You don't need to steal. You can just assassinate or kill the guard and loot the ingot. I just steal usually when I'm doing the videos because it makes it go a little faster <laughs> instead of you having to watch me kill all the enemies. And to also show that you don't have to kill the patrols for them to respawn. So now we're heading over to the second group of enemies. But if you're trying to level up and get XP, then you definitely should kill all the enemies because you'll get more XP. And use stealth kills if possible because assassinations give more XP than non-stealth kills. Kill. So it takes a little time to ride from the high point over here, but once you get here, the two patrols usually aren't that far apart. And the fact that there's a little distance between them is good because you can take out each one independently without having to take out like 10 enemies at once, like you do at some of the other high points. So I'm going to steal the second carbon ingot from this guard. And there we go. Two carbon ingots. And even if you did have to fight these enemies. They're small groups of relatively low level enemies. So even if you're early in the game, this should be doable. But before going back to start again, I recommend fast traveling out of the region to a different high point. I'm using Black Peak in Granitebridgeshire. And in my other video, I showed that there are also two patrols carrying carbon near this high point. So if you wanted to also look for patrols here and get carbon, you could definitely do that. But I'm just going to go back to where we were. But first, I like to save and reload the game because I find that helps to reset the spawn for the patrols. 
you don't necessarily need to do that, but I just do it. And then once you save in, reload your game, you can return to the zone. So return to Ragnarsson Lookout, which is the high point closest to your settlement in Ravensthorpe. So we're going out of Grandibridgeshire, back to Ragnarsson Lookout, where we started this video. And I'm going to show you how to use the Raven to find the patrols. I'm not actually going to go through and get the wealth here. I'll just show you that it did indeed respawn. So I like to first set a marker where I expect the wealth to be right above this lake here, above off church. So that's where I start my search. And so by putting that marker there, I know where to send my Raven. So I just send my Raven to that place and the patrols are generally around that area. So I'm using the right trigger on Xbox here to fly quickly. <laughs> takes a takes a minute for my raven to get all the way over here. Unfortunately, there's no high point closer to off church. So I have to fly there. Or rather, Sin and my raven has to fly there. It'd be cool if Eivor could fly. <laughs> so the patrols are going to be on the roads surrounding the military camps. Oh, and there's one right there. You can see that yellow star, and it's moving. That's how you know it's a patrol carrying wealth as opposed to some supply chest that has wealth in it. So there's the first one. And the second one is generally farther along on the other side. Oh, there it is. So yeah, I've gotten pretty good at spotting these things. It might take a little practice, but once you get the hang of it, you can spot them. And again, when it's dark out or raining like this, it's a little bit easier because the yellow stars show up more easily. And there we go. Those are the two patrols. They've respawned, and so we can continue farming carbon right here. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. This is Amber. Subscribe to my channel for more tips and tricks like this that you won't find any place else.